what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back today is a new day happy tuesday to y'all um hopefully you guys are enjoying the reactions man as you know i'm recording all of these on the same day so you guys don't get to see them you guys don't get to see them until the day they come out which is next week for y'all but in any case man we're gonna jump into these episodes today we're doing episode six of season two we saw that there's a new mandate for my boy Utrid, you know, I'm I'm a ride, I'm a ride, I'm a ride, I'm a ride with my boy Utrid until the wheels fall off. Me and this nigga going to the end. We going to the grave together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my dude in this series, man. Very likable character. And, you know, I'm not such a fanboy where I can't say he doesn't make mistakes. But, you know, I like to see my favorite dude in series i like to see them win you know what i'm saying and he's you know he caught a couple of l's you know in the season so far but he's last episode he, he catching some good w's some huge w's that is it's concerning but at the same time i'm looking forward to seeing the direction of where they're taking the show and the series as a whole because you know how are they going to build conflict and right now it seems like the conflict is going to be between Utrid and Alfred so I'm all for it I'm all for it because you know what I'm saying it's a master of the battle plan against a master you know what I'm saying of the of the brain you know what I mean like Alfred is that intelligent nigga you know what I mean so when it comes on to Utrid, Utrid is more of he is smart. He's street smart. It's street smart versus the book smart. You know what I'm saying? Let's see who can come out with W. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for it. So, in any case, guys, we're going to jump into this reaction. And I will see you guys for the review. See, this is what happens when people don't, you don't listen. You're just so selfish, you don't listen. And you're so dumb. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, man. This dude, Etheret, bro. I don't even know what to say about him. I'm going to be honest, bro. This might be the shortest review ever because... As I said, man, it's just like, what are you going to do now, Alfred? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Your your daughter is going to end up in Dane's hands or kilt. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Alfred? This is what you... Don't get me wrong. You have all the doubts in the world, the right in the world to doubt Uhtred, to have trust issues with him. But at the end of the day, this man is still there. He's still there. Yes, he's considering other stuff. And don't forget that he has ambitions. I get all of that stuff. Yeah. But for now, dude, the dude is always showing up. It's like, how can I be loyal, continue to be loyal to someone who doesn't trust me? You get what I'm saying? Yes, I have to think about that shit. Yes, I have to think about it. When it comes on to, to loyalty, it doesn't mean you can't explore other opportunities. If you look at it from a from a job perspective, right? There's a lot of times you're in jobs that you're loyal to, you love the environment. But if somebody comes along or whether they whisper in your ears or send you an email or come up to you or whatever the situation is and say, hey, man, I'll pay you this and that. I'll pay you 10 times more than you're making right now to do the same very thing. How long are you really going to be loyal to that company? Are you going to be like, oh, they've treated me well? And, uh, you know, and then 10 days later, you know what I'm saying? 10 days later, you're going to you're going to you know, probably regret that you made that decision. And I'm not saying that Utrid should switch up. I'm saying you're going to consider it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you should because loyalty should mean something. But at the same time, if another opportunity comes along, you're going to take some time to think about it. It's not that you're stopped being loyal. 
you're going to take time to think about it because it is a better opportunity. In the end, you might not choose it because of that loyalty, but you have to at the end of the day. If it's even to go into your boss and be like, hey, man, I got this better opportunity, but I love this company so much. It's really tearing me apart. You know what I'm saying? But nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like a good boss would be like, you know, you know, we're really happy that you're here, but it is a better opportunity. But if you stay with us, we'll see what we can do for you as in, you know, give you a raise, whatever the situation is. If that if that employee means something to you, you will do whatever you need to do to keep that employee. Not to say you're going to give them you're going to try to match the offer, but you're going to do what you can. If you do that, you you know what I'm saying? That loyalty goes to a whole different level after that. But they considered it. You're not trying to strong arm your boss, but you're just letting them know, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm torn. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily your strong arm in your boss for, for a better pay, even though some people do do that. You get what I'm saying? But when it comes on to, to, to this situation, I think it's very similar because Utrecht is still showing up just like, um, Ada is saying is like, doesn't, is it's not proof enough that he's here. You know what I'm saying? But Alfred is so worried that he's a spy. He just can't trust him. He's like, I don't know you. I don't know what you're about and all of this other stuff. And I'm like, you don't know what Uhtred is about for real. The man literally just came into servitude to you again to save his brother. And that something he didn't even have to do. And you still have trust issues with him and don't get me wrong i understand both sides of the coin but if it was me i would give utra the benefit of the doubt you need time to think about it man just know you know what i'm saying if i'm supposed to be if i'm king alfred i'm gonna be real with utra i'm gonna be like listen if you're considering doing this just know that you know what i'm saying we don't we're not gonna be boys after this simple plain we're not gonna be boys Straight up, just know that you're throwing all of that away to go be king. So we're going to be enemies. We're not going to be boys. You walk out of this room and you tell me that that's what you want to pursue. We going we, we not going to be cool after this. Let's be real about it. You know what I mean? Um, so Ethelred, you, you know what I'm saying? Like he's so jealous of Uhtred, man. So jealous, and he lets that his driving him with his relationship with with Ethelfled, like the stuff that he's doing to Ethelfled, man. Um, it reminds me of the relationship between Ramsey and Sansa. You know what I mean? Like, you know, tch, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's just like it's bringing back those memories for me. You know what I mean? Like, dude, like calm down. You know what I'm saying? And it's people who. People like that, they're always just, they're just straight up pussy, man. It's just pussy people that act like, like they need to, they need to do that to show the woman who's boss. Listen, man, but you heard what she said. And I know that's the reason why she didn't tell Alfred, man, is because she wants to fulfill her duty and all of this other stuff. She probably thinks that, you know, if she interrupts anything, she, is fa her father can't accomplish what he wants to accomplish and that's why she stated i am not telling you in real life as a woman to take that kind of abuse you should never be taking that kind of abuse from nobody no man no woman whatever you're into i don't care you should never do that but anyways that's my review for this one man i'm just looking forward to see what's going to happen next because things are about to get really wild so i'm gonna move on to the next episode you guys will see the episode tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow again in your real time okay i appreciate y'all don't forget to like don't forget to comment subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace